Hey guys, June Mega Assassin here again. Sorry if you hear barking because my neighbors do have their hunting dogs out, so I can't help that. I just picked a really bad time to film a video. But anyways, I'm here today because I want to share a like small anime slash smallish manga haul with you. Um, past like two months I have bought some anime. Normally I don't buy too much anime unless there's really good sales, but I wasn't in the mood to read, so I ended up buying stuff to watch or like buying stuff that I had watched and I wanted in my collection. So, without further ado, let's get started with the anime first. Um, first thing I got was off eBay. It is a magical girl anime. It is pre-tier. Um, the, like, synopsis of this is there's a girl, she moves to, like, a big estate, and when she gets there, a bunch of, like, magical night boys tell her that she's going to be the next, like, magical queen, and she's going to defend the world against the, uh, evil queen who was, like, just released from, like, I think she was in a tree, like, sealed within a tree, I'm not sure. But, uh, I bought this because I had watched it a while back. These are the cover arts, by the way. Anyways, I'd watched it a while back, and I thought it was really cute, and then I saw it on eBay, and I was like, you know what? I enjoyed it. Why not just get it? It wasn't that expensive. It was like, I think it was like 20-something, which was a pretty good price for it. Um, it's not like a new anime. It's been out for a while. You can probably tell with the style. But I actually think the style is adorable, and it was something that I kind of wanted in my collection. Um, if you don't like Magical Girl series, I wouldn't recommend checking it out. But if you do like Magical Girl fantasy, shoujo, comedy, stuff like that, um, go ahead and try to watch it. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you can stream it anywhere, but I know this is bad, but I'm pretty sure you can find some episodes on YouTube just to give you an idea if you'll like it or not. Um, let's see. The next thing I got was from Walmart. Um, I told you before, my roommate's brother wanted me to get into Black Clover, so I ended up getting Season 1, Part 1. Um, it is only 10 episodes. It was like 20 something dollars for like 10 episodes, which is kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Um, Part 2 was out at Walmart as well, but if I'm spending 20 something episodes on just 10, or 20 something dollars on just 10 episodes, I'm going to watch the first part before I continue to buy it just to make sure it's something I want to invest in. I'm pretty sure I'll like it and I will buy the, you know, rest of it, but I'm not going to buy it all at once. Um, next thing is not an anime, but I got it at a Walmart, so I'll just add it in. It is Voltron Season 1 and 2. This, I think, was cheaper um, than that, and uh, it has 26 episodes. So... And 26 episodes would be 13 a piece. So this would this would be like 13 episodes a season. I don't know. Black Clover just seemed kind of expensive to me. But anyways, Voltron's a mecha anime. Um, or mecha cartoon. You can watch it on Netflix. It's really good. I think there are like 6 or 7 seasons out. And it is finished and completed. I was spoiled a little bit by the ending. But I'm still going to get it. Because it is full of precious, precious boys. And if you like precious boy characters... You should check it out. Um, next, I got some anime, or yeah, some anime off Amazon. Um, the first one I had streamed out on Crunchyroll, and then I saw it was actually being released on DVD, and I went ahead and got it because it was like half price, and it is The Ancient Magus Bride. Um, if you haven't seen this, go ahead and check it out, especially if you like fantasy um, type stuff. It kind of reminded me, or it didn't remind me, but it gave me this kind of feeling that Harry Potter gave me when I first got into Harry Potter. And I don't know, it's kind of nostalgic having an anime give me that feeling again. So, it's really a beautiful, beautiful show. Um, definitely, I think, definitely worth your time and your money if you, I mean, first stream it, then buy it. But definitely worth watching at least one time around. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Um, the last anime that I got, I also bought off Amazon. Streamed it on Amazon Prime first because it was on there for free. It was included with Amazon. And, uh, I didn't, I went in with the expectation of not enjoying it because it is completely CGI. And CGI and anime bugs the crap out of me. Because you'll have, like, 2D images and then all of a sudden, boom, CGI 3D image just pooped right into an anime. And it doesn't flow very well. Um, but with this, it's all CGI, so it flowed very nicely. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was going to be a dumb show, but it wasn't. So, uh, I think if you have Amazon Prime, stream it and check it out. It is Land of the Lustrous. Um, it said, 
it was like if you're a fan of Steven versus the universe or Steven universe or whatever that show is you'll like this I don't think it's anything like that but it does have like the gym quality to it um it all the characters are gems the main character is Foss which is I think short for Phospholite and she is like the most like fragile of the gems or at least you think she is um on a scale I think maybe like one to ten she, she's like a two and she like whenever she comes in contact with people she breaks a lot but anyways it's just about her struggle being really fragile and breaking and uh just being a weak character in general but then she meets someone who is weaker than her and actually in a worse place than she is in her life and she kind of decides to help that character let me show you so this is false and uh she ends up meeting cinnabar and cinnabar I think she is more fragile, but she's also kind of poisonous. So none of the other gems want to be around her because she can actually hurt them. Um, and so Foss ends up promising Cinnabar to help her, but she doesn't even know if she'll be able to fulfill that promise. And it's kind of her realizing that and just kind of how her character grows because of um, the people that she meets, including Cinnabar. And it's just really beautiful. I really, really enjoyed it and I didn't think I was going to. Um, but yeah. Beautiful characters. The CGI was actually very pretty. It has its dumb moments, but uh, I think the character's um, development and kind of like the mystery behind what's happening in the story really kind of just drew me in. But yeah, very, very good series. Just uh, check it out if you have Amazon Prime. I know some of you probably do, especially if you order an anime or manga off Amazon, you probably have Amazon Prime. So just go find it try to watch it if you don't like it don't watch it but if you do like the first episode keep watching it because it's pretty good i'm hoping there's a season two though because season one didn't really get anywhere towards the mystery aspect and i'm still very confused um a lot of people said um it might be worth reading the manga because the manga actually goes way past what that goes but anyways that wraps up the anime portion of this haul so i'm going to grab some manga and i'll be right back I'm sorry if the camera angle has shifted, but I can't really help that because I have to flip it around, stop it. But anyways, um, on to the manga portion of this video. Um, the first one is one that I don't think I've showed, but I did buy it like really close to my last haul. Um, but it is Yankees. I do have this. I have not read it. I've been avoiding everybody's reviews, trying to keep, you know, like a blind eye when I to go in blind when I read this. I don't want to spoil myself. I will read it soon. I just hadn't been in the mood to read hardly anything. So yeah, sorry I haven't read it yet. But I do have it. Just hadn't got into it. Um, next, I bought this off eBay. It is the first four volumes of a like older shoujo series I read back in middle school or like early high school. And it is Absolute Boyfriend. We have volume one. We have volume two. Volume three. And the volume four. Um, not for everybody. It is essentially about a girl who gets a cyborg boyfriend in the mail. Um, so it's really random, but it is a comedy. And again, it's kind of childish. I read it when I was younger, but it was nostalgic to see it. And I heard a few people talking about it. And I was like, oh, I'm probably, I'm just going to pick it up because I know I liked it back then. There's a lot of series like that, though. Like um, Hannah, Hannah Kimi. I, I do like that. But Kimi Ni Todoke. That series, I want to buy the full collection of manga and the anime because it is so nostalgic. I watched that like early high school, really loved that series, and I don't think I ever finished it. So yeah, next on my list of older series to buy is Kimi Ni to Okay. If you guys have seen that series, it's really good in it. It's very good. If not, check it out because it's good. It's a good shoujo. It's like one of the best. Um, next is also off eBay. I watched a manga um, YouTuber and I don't remember what their name is and the name of their channel is. I will, I'll probably be able to find them so I'll leave a link in the description to their channel. But uh, they had a top 10 boys love uh, list video. Boys love manga list video. And uh, I liked their list but the top one I had never heard about. Um, and the way they described it, it didn't have a ton of bad tropes. Like, there's not going to be any, like, um, rape in it or anything like that. Because, you know, a lot of boys love, they throw in, like, 
rape in there and then it's just not good but this one seemed very innocent and very very nice and so I went ahead and picked it up and it is Ren. I have high expectations for this I really want some feels like just cute cuddly boys love feels and I don't want to have to you know read something that's gonna turn out bad but yeah I got volume one volume two and volume three and I'm pretty sure this is the full series I'm not positive though. There might be more volumes, but I think the reason, one of the reasons why I bought it is because it was very short. But yeah, super excited about that. I will let y'all know, or everyone that likes Boys Love, I will let y'all know if that's any good. So yeah. Um, this thing I just got in the mail a couple of days ago, and uh, the reason why I bought this is because I've been watching a lot of people's tag videos, especially Masky J, and uh. I don't know if it was one of his videos, but there was a question like, what is a manga that broke your heart or made you cry or something like that? And a lot of people were saying, um, The God's Lie. And, uh, I don't know. When several people tell you or say that a manga is really good and underrated and it made them cry, it just really makes me want to buy it. So I went ahead and got it. Um, it says... Natsuru, a sixth grader who lives alone with his mother, strikes up an unlikely friendship with the reserved and driven Ryo. Natsuru plays hooky during or from soccer camp that summer, and instead of telling the truth to his mother, he spends all his time with Ryo and her kid brother at their rickety house where a dark secret threatens to unpin their fragile happiness. It does sound like it's going to be sad, but I picked that up because I love recommendations from people, and yeah, I don't know, I'm pretty stoked about that one. Um, this next one, I was trying to find, like, Valentine's manga to read, and I reckon, when I was reading the synopsis, I recognized it from someone else's video. I want to say it was Manga Hoarder, but I'm not sure, but it has a really weird synopsis, synopsis, and I was like, you know what, I've heard of this, I've heard someone talk about this, I'm going to buy it, and it is 12 days, um, I'll read the synopsis, because I don't know how to describe it, it's just really random. When Jackie's ex-lover Noah dies, she decides the best and quickest way to get over the love of her life is to hold a personal ritual with Noah's ashes. Jackie consumes the ashes in the form of smoothies for 12 days, hoping the pain will subside with, their, with her profound reaction to Noah's death. So she drinks the ashes of her ex-lover who died. Um, sounds romantic. Kind of creepy. But yeah, I think it'll be something good to read for Valentine's Day. Or maybe it'll be a horrible choice. I don't know. But someone else mentioned it and I picked it up because of that. So yeah. I like recommendations. Uh, this one I found on my own. And uh, I liked it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite reads so far. And it's just a very basic boy's love. So there's nothing too special about it. But I just really enjoyed it. And it's called um, That Sk Sky Blue Feeling. Um, I think the reason why I liked it is because it's got like a little tubby character. He's supposed to be athletic. But he looks kind of tubby. Um, but yeah, a lot of people didn't, like, there was mixed reviews because there is a 26-year-old character that's supposed to be the ex-boyfriend of this young boy, and so that's kind of not great, but it's not really focused on in the manga so far, so it didn't bother me at all. Um, I just thought it was a really cute manga, the first volume was. The second volume comes out March 12th. I will be picking it up because I like that volume, so I will let y'all know if it stays cute and fluffy, and if it does... I will recommend it to y'all. So far, I don't know. It's it's basic. It's good for me. If you want something um, like more deep, maybe not that. But I'm a basic person. I like basic things. I like basic BL. Um, speaking of BL, uh, this is an older series. I wanted to buy... There's only two volumes. I wanted to buy volume one and volume two. Volume one was like $20-something dollars. Cheap-ish. Okay, I bought it. Volume 2 is like a hundred and something dollars because it is out of print. And this is Seven Days. This is one of my favorite, if not the favorite, uh, Boys Love or Shonen Eye or whatever you want to call it, Yaoi. It's my favorite that I've read so far. It has a live action drama adaptation, but it does not have an anime adaptation, which is a shame. It is really good. It is about a boy who... I don't think he does well in, like, relationships. And here's a rumor about another guy who will go on or will date someone, anybody, but he'll only date them for a week straight, like seven days, and then he ends it no matter what. And he jokingly asks that person out, and they end up dating for a week. Um, very nice, very cute, 
I enjoyed it. I just wish the second volume wasn't hella expensive because I probably will never buy it at a hundred and something dollars. But you never know. Maybe one day I will. Um, the next series I got, if you can't tell, most of these are shoujo. I'm in a shoujo like mood because I was trying to prepare for Valentine's Day. There's a readathon for tomorrow, which I have not uh, like done a TBR for, but I really want to participate even though I have to work tomorrow. But yeah, so I bought a bunch of shoujo to fill in for that uh, readathon. So I'll try to make a TBR video after this just to give y'all an idea of what I'm going to read. I'm not going to read a lot because again, I have to work and I'm very lazy on my work days. Um, but these next ones are obviously shoujo. Um, I got Orange Volume 1. I think these are the Omnibuses. Um, and then Volume 2. A lot of people have read this series. It is great. It is about a girl who gets letters from her future self. Her future self is trying to get her to fix, like, the biggest regret she's had in her life. Um, and it's just about the girl coming to terms with actually believing that she's getting letters from the future. And then it's her decision on whether or not to follow the letter's advice or not. And it's like a tragedy shoujo. It's very good. I haven't read it in a while, so it'll be nice to reread it, especially for Valentine's Day, because I need the fills. Um, but yeah, I recommend that. The anime, however, there is an anime for Orange. It is awful. Like, it gave me, okay, if you've ever watched Naruto, um, ship it in pain fight scenes, the bad animation for that, or just the really, really crappy animation. Orange's animation on the faces reminded me of that. I mean, not as bad, obviously, and maybe I'm just overreacting or exaggerating, but, like, I cringed so bad at the anime, the orange anime, and I thought it was going to be beautiful because it's such a beautiful story, but the anime did not do it justice at all. So, recommend the manga. Do not recommend the anime unless you just want to see some cringy faces, um, but yeah. The last thing, it's not a manga, but I'm just going to throw it in here to show y'all how stupid I am. I thought I was buying volume two of the manga for um, Only the Ring Finger Knows because I just recently picked up the first volume. And it is not. It is volume two of the light novel series. Um, and I got it. Here's how dumb I am. I got it in the mail and I was super excited. I was like, that is a thick manga volume. I'm going to be, this is going to be such a fun read. And I opened it and I was like, where are my pictures though? Like, where are they? <sighs> this is why I need, I'm bad about not reading descriptions fully. I just saw volume two and I went and bought it and I should have read what it was. But uh, yeah, that's all the anime and manga I've picked up from the end of January to early February. Um, I have spent a lot of money recently, so I don't know if I'm gonna have another haul video soon or not. I have been buying a Game of Thrones. I have bought season one through four and that took up a big chunk of my money these past months because me and my parents are trying to recap the seasons um, before the next season comes out and we really wanted to collect them anyway. So I decided to try to pick them all up and yeah, we ain't going to be able to watch all of them before April, but you know, we were going to try. But yeah, that's where my money went. So maybe not too many more hauls like this this month. Maybe in a couple months I'll do another compilation. But yeah, d expect a TBR um, video from me because I will try to make one. Either that or I'll put it on my Twitter what books I'm going to read. Um, just depends on how fast I can edit this video and put it up. But yeah, TBR should be coming up soon for, um, I think it's like 24 hour love readathon. I don't know. I'll link it in the description as well. So I'll link that YouTuber who did the BL list and I'll link the readathon that's happening tomorrow. That way y'all can kind of get an idea of what's happening. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and have a happy um, Valentine's because I probably won't post until after Valentine's Day. So yeah, have a good Valentine's Day and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!